Welcome back. I'm Colin Greco. And I'm Harrison Tabor. And welcome to this very special Holly episode of the Voorhees Now. Without further ado, we, we have, have a show, show for you. you. You might be feeling some anxiety from the season of gift giving and holiday cheer. Well, no need to fear because Brielle is here to give you some tips on relieving stress. More than a quarter of teens claim they feel extreme stress at some point during the school year. Stress comes from standardized tests, peers, teachers, and managing school with other activities. Sadly, many teens handle stress in an unhealthy way. With help from some of my friends, we are going to show you five helpful ways to deal with stress. Number one, music. Cranking up the tunes can have an effect on your emotions and help you relax when you listen to it. Number two, slime. Creating slime with a few simple household ingredients and playing with it can make your day less stressful. Number three, yoga. Breathing and posing and yoga moves can help you calm your chaotic life. Number four, coloring. Coloring can boost mental clarity and make you relaxed. Number five, laughing. My personal favorite stress reliever is simply laughing. Laughing decreases stress hormones and makes you happy. So next time you're feeling overwhelmed, try to think of ways to help you become less stressed. From VHS TV, I'm Brielle.
our second story today, we have Chris Marin giving you tips on how to prepare your tires for winter with help of his 1978 Firebird. As you can see, winter weather is fast approaching and I have some vehicle related tips that will aid you in your winter driving escapade. Let's start where the rubber meets the road. If you're running summer tires, you should seriously consider switching to a winter compound tire before the cold weather really sets in. Not only will you see reduced performance from a summer tire in the winter, but summer tires are not designed to perform in winter inclement weather. If you're running all season tires, it would also be a smart decision to switch to a winter compound tire. However, it's not quite as urgent as if you were running a summer tire. A quick way to check if your all seasons are good for the winter is to use a good old penny. If you can put the penny upside down in the tread and you can see the top of Lincoln's head, you should seriously consider a new set of tires, if not just for the winter. Looks like good old Honest Abe's bald spot isn't showing today. These tires are ready to hit the road. There are also certain winter safety items that would be smart to have in your car. These items include a flashlight, road flares, extra pairs of gloves, an ice scraper, and a bag of sand. Not only will that bag of sand help remind you of those sweet summer days at the beach, but by putting sand under your tires when you're having trouble with traction, it can help you get out of trouble. Now it's time to talk about the drive. When driving in inclement weather, not only is it smart to double your following distance, but it's also smart to go slower than you normally would. If you can avoid stopping, you should do it. There's a big amount of difference in inertia from a full stop as opposed to a rolling stop when you're trying to get going. What this means is if you're approaching a red light and it's about to turn green and you can slow down to avoid completely stopping, you should do it. Similarly, if you're approaching a hill, you should build up the speed while you're on a downhill or on a level surface so that it's not tough to get all the way up to the top of the hill. Just remember, if you don't have to go somewhere and the weather is bad, you should seriously consider staying home. Not only does it give you an excuse to make a nice cup of hot chocolate, but you can also avoid a crash or serious injury. Oh no! This is going to be the first year driving for a lot of people at Vorhees, so you should do everything in your power to make it as safe as possible. Back to you in the studio, I'm Chris Marin. Now, back to Brielle with the weekly grind. Hey guys, happy holidays. I'm Brielle Berezini and this is the final weekly grind of 2017. The wrestling team invites you to support them at their match on Wednesday, January 3rd at home versus North Hunterdon. The match begins at 7 p.m., but be sure to get there early and pack the visitor section to watch them team warm up. If you picked up a t-shirt that was being sold this past week by the wrestlers, be sure to wear and show your pride and support for special needs children at Camp Fatima. This is one match you won't want to miss. And now let's check out This Week in History as produced by Anna Squindo. This week in history, on December 29, 1852, 17-year-old Emma Snodgrass was arrested in Boston for wearing pants. What? On December 30, 1974, the Beatles legally disbanded. On December 31, 1890, Ellis Island opens as a U.S. immigration port. On January 1, 1863, the Emancipation Proclamation is issued by Abraham Lincoln to free the slaves in the U.S. Confederate States. On January 2nd, Rene Elise Goldberg was born. On January 3rd, 1987, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inducts the first female artist, Aretha Franklin. And on January 4th, 1863, four wheeled roller skates were patented by James Hilton of New York. And that was this week in history. Thanks, Anna, and I'm going to leave you today with the festive number by the Voorhees Jazz Ensemble performed earlier this week. Have a safe and happy holiday, and we'll see you in 2018.
Well, folks, that's all the time we have. From everyone at Voorhees Now, we'd like to thank you for such a great year. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays! To all. To all. To all. Dave, you have your hat back.